Okay, last look at the empty engine bay before battery gets installed. Uh, last couple of days I spent uh, cleaning things up uh, around here. I, I pulled all kinds of stuff from from the from over there. There was all kinds of uh, different uh, little things installed for. Uh, emission control, all kinds of valves and things. So this is now all gone. Pretty much uh, uh, all the stuff that I will need. I did make uh, those uh, mounts for the uh, inverter right here. Uh, I did get installed a, a throttle box right here, and in general, clean things up from the things that I don't need any more pipes. I pulled all the gas pipes and st stuff like that. Um, so battery box uh, mounts are in place. You can see these are the main ones. You can actually get a very good look now. Uh, these are the front ones. Um, also, I did prepare everything for uh, uh, installing AC so, so the pipes are all connected. Uh, the entire system has been flushed. Um, I installed all new O-rings in there, and this uh, suction pipe. I actually reused the original pipe. Uh, I bend it uh, in a completely different way. I used really nice uh, bender, which I was able to actually use to straighten pipe all the original bends and bend it in a new way, the way it uh, fits now and uh, and the pipe actually survived the whole process and I actually had to shorten it a little bit and weld this uh, adapter here I actually taped it for protection but I, I welded actually this, uh, this piece back together so here's the uh, uh, hose for the uh, power steering. Uh, this is going to be fine right here um, <clears throat> Because basically this is where where the compressor is gonna go a AC compressor and right next to it I'm gonna install the hydraulic uh, power steering uh, pump right here Kind of messy installation, but uh, that will be cleaned up soon. So, anyways, uh, the battery box is right here, ready for installation. Uh, basically, spent uh, last two weeks building this thing. Uh, uh, insane amount of work. Um, over uh, 100, 250. Uh, drilled holes um, over 100 taps uh, crazy crazy stuff so as I was explaining on earlier uh, this is uh, two levels basically the batter, batter, bottom battery pack uh, right here that I actually installed uh, yesterday um, and here's gonna be the top one and the top one will get installed once I install the box it's just gonna be easier that way so you can see connection coming out from from the lower deck here the, the positive negative wires and the signal wires uh, for BMS so I got everything hooked up to the hoist and it's ready for installation so Let's do it. Let me uh, set you guys up here.
Alright, uh, battery box is uh, in, fully installed, check it out. All fits uh, really nicely here. Let me show you what it looks like from below. You can see lower battery pack installed and also here in, in this area uh, below the battery uh, there's uh, plenty of room for some accessories to be installed. Uh, AC compressor is going to be installed right here in this area and over here I'm going to install the hydraulic pump for uh, power steering also here closer to the transmission in this this area there's uh, plenty of room I can install some stuff I think uh, uh, electric heater for hitting the cabin it's gonna be installed right here in this area Well, I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening installing the top uh, battery pack right here and uh, we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, uh, battery pack installed. Thanks to Tom and his great uh, SIMP BMS project, I'm able to communicate with uh, BMS uh, slaves. And uh, read all the parameters of the batteries. Uh, the whole pack appears to be pretty well balanced within 11 millivolts. So it's great. So here's my uh, communication wires for the lower deck and this is for the upper one um, so there's some more integration to be done um, so basically I'm gonna need two SIMP BMS modules and and uh, integrate them together so I can get uh, stats for both packs uh, but that's that's coming so um, Here's the inverter waiting to be installed. Uh, that's what I'll be doing for the rest of the day and installing the inverter and uh, wiring everything together and then uh, install some cooling uh, hoses and, and the pump. Yeah. Okay, so finally uh, I got this battery box in and the uh, packs installed. Very happy about this. Uh, this this took really really long time. It's uh, two weeks in the making. So still don't have a top cover, but uh, it's coming. This is something I have to order from the shop. It has to be bent on the press. So it's it's coming soon, but uh, that's not gonna stop me from making more progress in here. Okay, uh, till next time.